Uh, yeah, so we had um, some basic requirements that we needed to meet with our ventilator. So um, the, one of the mandatory requirements was volume control. Um, and then there were um, other requirements that we could meet if, if possible, and that was um, pressure control or pressure support. And um, so just figuring out what um, those different modes are on the ventilators and then, um, and then, yeah, I guess finding out what um, parameters needed to be included on the screen and what exactly we had to measure on the patients. Um, so from the patient standpoint, there was what needed to be measured. Um, we needed to find out what was already um, an industry standard, I guess, in terms of um, attaching the ventilator to the patient, um, what the um, medical professional would be using in terms of other devices and things like that while treating the patient and learning about the hospital um, atmosphere. Um, so all of these different things um, was involved in the medical research and uh, we had to sort of take all of that information, distill it down and figure out what exactly we would incorporate in our design. Um, and then, and then I guess also decide, make some fairly quick decisions on what uh, we would not incorporate. Um, so we decided that we would um, use pressure support mode, um, which was not a mandatory requirement, but we learned from the doctors and the respiratory therapists that that was actually pretty crucial um, in terms of treating the patients. So um, even though it wasn't a mandatory requirement, we, we figured it would be pretty important to keep that in the design. Um, and then pressure control mode, however, we decided to leave out because um, from the conversations with the uh, healthcare professionals, we learned that it wasn't as crucial for the majority of the patients. And um, they said that if they needed pressure control, they would most probably just use the fancier ventilator for those patients because those would be for like specific patients with say COPD or um, you know serious underlying conditions. So, um, so yeah, I guess those were some of the things that we had to figure out.